Yo, what's up guys, Raymond here. So ARK Invest, Kathy Wood's team is over there still buying up shares of a Nano Dimension. So today I just wanna quickly go ahead and dive into some uh, Nano Dimension news as well as see why ARK is still investing into this stock. Is there something that we really don't know because I'm not seeing it, but again, this is just something that you guys have been asking for a Nano Dimension video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here for you guys. We're gonna go over the stock chart as well as you know a couple of catalysts probably and then we're going to look at their valuation and then finally we're going to draw a conclusion as to you know what to expect from this stock going forward so if that sounds good to you go ahead and hit that like button and turn it blue subscribe to the channel as well we're on the way to 5,000 subscribers and i really appreciate you guys' support and then check out we will if you want two free stocks when you open an account with them and deposit $100. And then check out BlockFi as well. If you're into cryptocurrency and you have some crypto that you want to go ahead and send over to them and then collect eight and a half percent, up to eight and a half percent interest every single year on your cryptocurrency. Nano Dimension is currently trading around $7, not looking too hot. Was up around you know $17 or so, but has since sold off to that $7 mark again. And that's down around 60%. A lot of it might have been just hype towards the end of the year into the beginning of 2021. I mean, you saw this thing just completely skyrocket. But I mean, I think reality has set in here recently and it's been part of the, you know, the overall stock market sell off. Stock market has been pretty bearish, excluding the indices here that are second re setting record highs. But overall, these speculative more, you know, growth stocks are really down big time. Now, I did mention that ARK Invest is still buying this stock, but we really want to find out exactly why they might be buying. So let's take a look at, you know, a 60 months timeline of Nano Dimension and what we can expect going forward. So Nano Dimension closed 2019 with $3.75 million in cash and it burned $13 million that year. By the start of 2020, Nano Dimensions market cap was barely $10 million. Yoel Stern was also hired as the CEO in December of 2019. Now let's fast forward from December 2019 and also 2020, and then let's come here to the present, April 2021. The $3.75 million in cash at the end of the year has ballooned massively into a hoard of roughly $1.5 billion. The nano dimension stock price has more than tripled to just above $8. Less than two months ago, it traded at more than twice as high. The $10 million market cap is now $2 billion. Now, the reason why the market cap is up so much from let's say 2019 is that nano dimension recently here has issued stock offering after stock offering after stock offering. At the end of 2019, the company had 209 million ordinary shares or about 4.2 million adjusted for a one to 50 reverse split. Now, at the moment, the share count is past 250 million. So that means that the enterprise value in theory is now $600 million. So now enter Kathy Wood and her ARK Invest team. And don't worry, we're gonna get into the specifics here in a minute, but just as a high level overview, Kathy Wood's ARK Investment owns shares of Nano Dimension. In fact, it's the 21st largest holding of the ARK Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF. Also, Nano Dimension is ARQ's largest stake in the 3D sector, and it's more than six times the holdings of DDD and SSYS stock. DDD is 3D Systems and Stratasys is SSYS. The question then is, even though ARK Invest is investing into this fund as well as the market cap being so much higher than it used to be, is that good enough to turn this stock around? The CEO Stern has repeatedly said that the plan is to use the cash for acquisitions, but it's unclear why the company needed to sell this much stock. Nano Dimension generated less than $4 million in revenue in 2020. The pandemic was a factor, of course, but even in 2019, sales were less than $9 million. This is kind of mind boggling to me. You're a company, you're around $600 million in valuation and you have $1.5 billion in cash sitting there. 
you made only $4 million in 2020 and only $8 million in 2019. Why did the company have such a need to sell so much stock? I mean, we saw offering after offering after offering, and they're currently sitting at $1.5 billion. So my question is, what exactly is that money going to be used for? Why is it burning a hole in you guys' pocket? Another key question is, should nano dimension stock be considered overvalued? In 2021, they raised $830 million. And then their CEO Stern said in November that the company had enough cash for its acquisition strategy. It sold more than $1 billion of stock since. So let me get this straight. The CEO said back in November that the company already had enough cash to go ahead with an acquisition. So another question is, why in the world since November has the company seen a need to sell more than $1 billion in stock? Overall, what does this mean for the company and how does this play out? Just 16 months ago, as we said, the company was worth only $10 million. But right now it has $1.5 billion in cash just sitting on the sidelines doing absolutely nothing, at least that we can see right now. So I think it might be a good approach to say on the sidelines until we can see something more concrete coming out of the Nano Dimension account. Another thing that you may or may not know is that Yoav Stern, the CEO, was mouthing off a little bit in an interview recently, basically saying that, you know, he's not down with the whole SPAC mania because he feels like a lot of these SPACs almost 95 to you know even 100% of these SPACs are really overvalued. There's all hype. There's really no value in a lot of them. So, you know, I'll take that with a grain of salt, but this is pretty much what he said. And here we can see that ARK is indeed still buying up shares of Nano Dimension stock. Currently, their ARK Q ETF has around 8 million shares of Nano Dimension worth around $62 million. And also their ARK W ETF has around 5.5 million shares worth around 42 million. And you can see, at least for the beginning of this month, April, they weren't really buying a bunch, but in the last couple of days here on the 12th and on the 13th, they've won from $6.9 million to $8.1 million. So an addition of about 1.2 million shares. So there you have it, folks. I really don't know what to expect from this stock, especially in the short term. It might keep on selling off. I mean, going from around $17 down to around $7 as we speak. Currently, I mean, it might be a, you know, buy the dip or buy this sell off situation, but I'm currently not an investor. I have never been an investor. I mean, I'm going to stay on the sidelines. Might take a nibble at it if things improve, but I mean, when you're sitting on $1.5 billion in cash, you're valued around $600 million. You made $8 million in 2019 in revenue and then fell by 50% in 2020. Yeah, blamed it on the pandemic. Pandemic. They made only around $4 million. A company valued at $600 million making $4 million in revenue and then has $1.5 billion in cash. I mean, my question really is, as far as acquisitions go, Nano Dimension, what the heck are you guys waiting on? Because me, personally, I don't get it. But hey, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe ARC sees something that I'm missing. Maybe the folks over at Nano Dimension have something up their sleeves. Who knows, but that really remains to be seen. My opinion, man, I don't know. I'm not touching this thing with a 10-foot pole. Now, that's not to say that it's a bad company or bad stock or anything like that, but it's just not my cup of tea. So as always, you're an investor and you need to make sure you do your own due diligence if this is something that you're interested in. There's no need to listen to guys like me randomly on YouTube that make videos for entertainment purposes only. So I really appreciate you guys for sticking around this long. If you enjoyed the video, you found it informative, you found it helpful at all, Please share it with someone that could benefit. And then don't forget to hit that like button on your way out and subscribe to the channel as well. I make videos just like this one pretty much on a daily basis on stocks, investing, personal finance, and how to build wealth. So I really, really appreciate that. And don't forget to pick up your two free stocks with Weeble and check out BlockFi as well. If you have some cryptocurrency that you want to send over to them and get up to 8.5% per year in interest on that crypto. So again, guys, my name is Raymond. Thanks for sticking around and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.